Hey guys, and welcome to this edition of Scruff's Garage. Uh, today we're to the point of installing uh, my new ATI uh, Super Damper uh, Crank Balancer. Um, I did a separate video on how to assemble the uh, ATI damper, so uh, if you haven't covered that portion of it yet, you may want to go back and watch that video first uh, and then pick up here <clears throat> for the installation. So really with the installation will go kind of uh, in three steps. So the first step uh, will be pressing on the uh, harmonic balancer with an insulation tool. Uh, that'll get the balancer, <clears throat> excuse me, about 98% installed. This tool really isn't designed to handle the 240 foot-pounds uh, that's needed to fully seat uh, the balancer on the, uh, the crank. So once we get this at least pressed on there, like I said, about 98% of the way, I will take this tool out. Then we'll use an old crank bolt. Um, remember the crank bolts are uh, torqued to yield, so you would not reuse your old bolt, but you'll take the old bolt and use it for the purpose of uh, seating the balancer fully. So we'll put 240 foot-pounds on that. Then we'll take that bolt out, and then I'll do a final installation with a uh, ARP uh, crank bolt. Um, or you could go back with a new OE bolt and you'd follow the torque to yield steps um, for setting that. <clears throat> so uh, we've got this threaded rod threaded in all the way. Okay, so I've got the balancer. The other thing you'll need to do uh, before you move on with uh, pressing this on, so the ATI balancers have a keyway uh, machined into the, um, to the hub. If you're not going to key the uh, pin the crank. Um, you need to fill this keyway with some RTV uh, and try to keep it just in the keyway groove because you don't want it uh, around the rest of the uh, the the surface in here because that's going to be a, a press fit. So try to keep it as clean as you can, but try to get some in that groove uh, and it prevents oil from leaking out from inside the timing cover uh, through that groove. So the ATI uh, balancers um, are zero balance for the LS motors, so you don't have to worry about um, getting it indexed a particular way, setting up with a timing mark or anything of that nature. We can start walking the uh, pulley on. Starting to turn the motor over uh, so I'm gonna get something to lock the back of the motor uh, so we can keep moving. Okay, for the moment, I have a uh, pry bar wedged between a couple of the uh, flywheel bolts. It's not gonna be a long term solution, but it'll be enough, at least, I think, for the installation. Okay, so I've got it most of the way on there uh, using the installation tool. Uh, at this point, I don't want to put any more torque on the installation tool. Uh, so we're going to take this out and we're going to move on uh, to the old crank bolt and we'll use that to uh, keep increasing the torque on this. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to use an old uh, OE crank bolt.
Okay, so I didn't want to make you watch the, the whole process, um, but what I will say, <clears throat> so I just finished getting the OE, uh, the old OE uh, crank bolt tightened. Um, got it to 230 foot-pounds. Um, I had to stop a couple of times. Um, I was putting a lot of downward pressure, both upward or downward, depending on which side of the, the motor I was on. Um, and I felt like I was stressing the uh, this engine stand. Maybe a more robust engine stand would have the issue, but I was a little concerned. <clears throat> so I rigged up some support down here at the bottom. Um, that way, as I was putting load uh, with the torque wrench, um, I felt like the motor was a little better supported. Um, and that allowed me to put a little bit more <clears throat> oomph into uh, getting the, to the torque spec. So um, at this point, I'll back this one out and then we'll go in with the ARP bolt okay so we're ready to go back in with the ARP bolt uh, this is a 12 point head uh, make sure you use their um, the supplied ultra torque um, lube that they provide it goes on the threads it goes on both sides of the washer and under the head of the bolt under there as well Right, because you don't want any friction here holding torque. You want all the torque on the clamping force uh, of the threads. All right, here we go. Uh, final assembly, got the ARP bolt in. Um, first I'm going to try to get it to 200 foot-pounds um, and then we'll go up from from there so you get to watch me huff and puff and struggle there's 200 and actually the final torque spec for the a ARP bolt per their instructions is 130 uh, 235 foot-pounds so let's see if we can get there. Woo! There we go. Uh, 235 foot-pounds on the AARP bolt. This thing's fully seated and installed. Um, so good luck with your installation. Like I said, it takes a lot of torque and a lot of work to get that bolt um, to the spec that they, they give you. Um, but it also helps ensure that it doesn't back out. Uh, you don't want a wobbly pulley, uh, throwing belts, that sort of thing. So I uh, hope this helped with your install. If you got questions, uh, don't hesitate to post and comment. Um, be happy to answer anything that I can. Um, and as always, thanks for tuning in to Scruff's Garage. See you next time.